Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Top Series 1 Baseball. This is 6 box jumbo edition, random team break number Jordan, number 23. Some combo teams right here. And you'll also get uh, 30 random veteran base cards from this case as well. So there you go. Obviously all the rookies and inserts and variations and numbered cards and whatnot and hits will obviously ship, but you'll also get a little stack of just random vet base so you can have some comments as well in your collection. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. And there's some combos right here. There are the teams. Thank you. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a five, ten the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, we've got Aaron Pettit down to Justin Humphrey. Five and a five, 10 the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good luck everybody, 10th and final time. After 10 times, we got the Halos. Down to the Redbirds. All right, so Aaron Pettit, you have the Halos. Langston, you got the Tribe. John, you got my Dodgers. Kyle with the Tigers. Johnny with the Metropolitans. Paul with the Marlins Twins combo team. Johnny with the Bo Sox. Darren with the Bluebirds. Langston, the Friars and the Rays. Joseph D. with the Brew Crew. Aaron Pettit with the M's. Neil, Last Spot Mojo, Royals. Daniel with the Strohs. Jeremy with the Orioles A's combo. Scott with the Bronx Bombers. Craig with the Gigantes. Richard Miller with the Rocks, the Snakes, and the Buckos. Mike with the Rangers. Jack B. with the Braves. Dominic with the Reds. Philip with the Phillies. Philip with the Philadelphia Phillies. I like that. Andy with the Nats, Aaron with the Shy Sox, Thomas with the Cubbies, and Justin Humphrey with the Redbirds. Indians up for trade. Tim Langston's looking for the Royals, if anybody's interested in that. There you go. Let's alphabetize by team. All right, so I don't know if Neil is here. Neil, any interest in that? Kyle's not happy with the Tigers. All right, so Tigers up for trade as well. Um, I don't think you're in this break, Ryan. Giants are up for trade, though. Or maybe that was the joke. All right, we'll pause the video really quick. Looks like people are wanting to think about trades. I'm going to drop the checklist so people can digest some of the teams that you have. And we'll be right back. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. As you can see, there was one trade. A lot of trade chatter, but this was the deal that got done. So Neil is out of the Royals spot, and Tim Langston, Langston in the chat, uh, Tim Langston in the chat, is out of the Indians spot. So Langston now has the Royals. We'll put a little T next to there for trade. In case you're following along at home, you want to see who draws first blood in the trade. And Neil gets the Cleveland Indians, gets the Tribe. All right, so TWC, trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck. So you can see the three on top right here. You can also use the top camera for reference. So we'll slide those back there. This is what's going on here. Oh yeah, the Silver Series 2 Silver Pack promo is gonna happen. We'll save this for the shot. And there's the other three right over here. 
All right, one autograph and two relic cards in every hobby jumbo box. Looking for golden tickets as well. If we find a golden ticket, we'll randomize that to one person in this particular break. All right, let's get the final printout right here. So hot off the presses, the final list, the official list. Six box jumbo, random team number 23 on the 13th. Thanks everyone for spending some time with us on a Thursday night. We really appreciate it. We've got a checklist in the chat. If you want to consult that, see what, what stuff you can possibly get. Nothing sold out after this, ladies and gentlemen. But that Contenders football is pretty close. That, just like this break, the Contenders, the remaining two Contenders breaks, are part of tonight's promo. I want to try to get that done tonight. I hope we can. Be nice. Down to five in uh, Pick Your Team 5. All right, we're going to save the silver packs to the end, or the blue silver packs. They call them silver packs, but I guess they're kind of silvery, but they blue on top. All right, good luck, everybody. Kyle, said, Kyle ended up with the Tigers. Tried to trade the Tigers. Did not get any love for the Tigers. But maybe you'll get some of that tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Kyle, is there a Ty Cobb cut auto in this? That'd be pretty sick. So just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze through these. Now, after every one of these foil cards right here, that's some sort of variation. Obviously, inserts like this, these are all shipping. And all the RCs, all the rookie cards will be shipping as well. So there's A-Rod die cut, which I can't put in that penny sleeve. There you go. That'll go to the... That's Rangers edition. That's going to go to... Mike Costello and this Garrett Cole variation here going to go to the Yankees. The Yankees are going to have a loaded pitching staff. Scott V with the Bronx Bombers. And all these rookie cards, of course, will – is Dustin May an RC this year? He is. So stuff like that will obviously all ship. Future stars, Kevin Biggio. There's a Jordan Alvarez as well. We'll save a couple of those. Should be some Gavin Lux in here as well. Kevin Biggio, 20 out of 20. Could be a big rookie name in the hobby this year. <laughs> Bill, what's going on? Yeah. He was lurking, her, her overheard Ty Cobb. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the checklist. I don't know if he's in the checklist or not. And we got Trevor Story, relic for the Rockies. Is there a cut auto in Series One? That'd be be pretty nice. It's on the checklist, says Kyle. There you go. Well, why not? That'd be pretty nice. So after the foil card, there is the Robel Garcia Cubbies. That's 19 out of 50. Nice. Good low number for Thomas R. Got randomized the Cubs.
Jock Peterson didn't end up getting traded. It's a little awkward, I guess. And behind that one is Gavin Lux. Could be the big, uh, big tight, uh, tight end, big, the big second baseman that we need. I was thinking football for a second there. The Dodgers need. What are the uh, big na rookie names, baseball fans? What are the big rookie names you're looking forward to this year that you want to collect? Max Muncy got, got a nice little contract extension. And then we've got Framil Reyes and out of 149, Javier Baez, Cubs. Big Cubs relic going to Thomas. 70 out of 149. There's Fran Mill Reyes, 20 out of 20. This is Indians edition. That's going to go to Neil, who got the Indians in a trade. Gilo says, not Bubba Starling. Kyle Lewis is what Kyle's saying. Bo Bichette, yeah, Bill saying Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux. So there's Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays, DMAC. We got Ryan Sandberg. I know that, uh, yeah, that's a good one too, Brian Peoples. AJ Puck. And Jesus Lazardo could be a couple big names. Aquino, don't forget about him on the Reds. I think he could be a big rookie name too. I think there's a lot of rookie names that we can chase this year that we can hope, you know, does well. I mean, this guy was hitting dingers left and right. So that's a rookie as well. And then we got Matt Schramm, 66 out of 60, 69. Nice. I'll go to the Friars. That'll be for uh, Langston, Tim Langston and the Padres. TJ likes AJ Puck. TJ all aboard on AJ. I don't think Joey Bart's a rookie in this. I think he's still a couple of years away from still a couple of years away from being on a major league roster, right? Yeah, Adley Rushman too, Bill, I think is still a few years away. So they wouldn't be RCs in this set. Behind Bellinger is a Jordan Alvarez autograph. Nice. Daniel Wagner got randomized to Houston Astros in this one. There you go. That's numbered 41 out of 50. Nice. That's a strong one for the Strohs. Wow. Zion has 32 points tonight, says Jason. Daniel, there he is. Daniel Wagner, congrats to you. What's great about the baseball season is that among the, the usual rookies that we can chase, there's always going to be, I mean, th this time last year, did we know who, uh, did we know who Pete Alonzo was? So there's always that. There's always a, a spring training surprise that turns into one of the big rookies of the year. Phil Necro. Do I think Jordan's numbers go down this year? Well, what what was his final numbers yet last year? So in only 313 at bats, wow. he had he had 
27 home runs and a 313 batting average. That is wild. That projects out to, if he had a full season, 50 home runs, 145 RBIs. I mean... I mean, I'd be happy with 40 home runs, right? Isn't I think Carter Keebum was a rookie last year, wasn't he, Jack? I think he may not. I think he was an RC RC last year. There's Juan Soto. That'll go to Andy and the Nets. Save those right there. All right, next box. All Astros numbers going way down this year? Well, I don't know. I don't think he was part of that 2017 team, which did most of the most of that cheating. I don't think he was... He didn't really have a big... I think he only really came about in 2019, right? Last year? So he may have just avoided that kind of scrutiny. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at his splits right now. 14 home runs at home, 13 home runs away. The average is pretty different, though. 349 at home, 272 away. Now, Gemini says hit by pitch numbers will go up, Jeremy. Gonsolin was part of a lot of trade chatter. I think he might be sneaky good this year. I don't know how much of an impact he will have in the hobby. But Bo Bichette could have a big, big impact in the hobby. Clippers Celtics going to overtime. I heard that today. I don't know. Jim Crane should have kept his mouth shut. I think he just made it kind of worse. Um, Jim Crane, I think Astro's owner, at a little press conference today, and kind of kind of went back and forth. It was just like I don't think that had the sign ceiling had any impact, and then he said he did have impact. I mean, he, he should have just not said anything. There's Jordan Alvarez again, forty-eight out of twenty twenty. I think Jordan Alvarez is clean, though. Former Dodger prospect. But... Tiggs, what's going on? If you win, if you win a get... You guess what day the player hits home run? Oh, those home run cards? I think you win a card, like a special short-printed card of that player. Eric Thames? I think that's what you get. Oh, let's save that die cut too. Yeah, the Jordan Alvarez should be a strong name in the hobby this year. So is that Gavin Lux. I'm trying to catch as many of these as possible, but our shipping team will catch these as well, the RCs. Dodgers at the second base position has been... Second base with the Dodgers has been, been a bit of a... been of a black hole. They haven't really been able to... to get that just right, but he might be a young talent right there at that spot. I hope. 
I think that anybody who wanted to deal with the Dodgers, they've definitely been asking about Dustin May and Gavin Lux, and they said, uh-uh, no. They said, no way. Hopefully that pays off. Got. I, I like these. I know these are manufactured patches. I kind of like them though. 72 out of 149, Albert Pujols for the Halos. That goes to Aaron Pettit. I like it. I think it looks cool. Your Starlin Castro to 2020 for the Marlins. That's going to go to the Marlins twins combo, Paul Hutchins. There's A.J. Puck. We were just talking about him. That goes to the A's. That'll be for the O's-A's combo, Jeremy Anderson. So he's got some pretty scary... Look up his minor league numbers, and they're pretty scary. You know, big, tall, lefty... With long flowing hair. Who does that remind you of? Randy Johnson? Little Big Unit, I think, is what they call him. Or I guess one of his nicknames. Reggie Jackson. And we've got an autograph, DJ LeMayu, Yankees. Did he end up winning the batting title? This goes to Scott V and the Bronx Bombers. Not numbered, but a nice autograph in that old design. Electro, do you think we'll break Optic 3? Well, that's not up to me. That's up to you. How, how are we doing on that Optic 3? Well, there's three left in Contenders 5, so that'll happen. Optic 3 is at 6 left. We can squeeze that in. We have time to squeeze that in tonight if it sells out. Didamo did win the batting title last year in the AL. There you go. There's Gene Segura. It's a pretty good hitter. I was kind of hoping, kind of hoping that the Dodgers would have picked him up to fill that second base spot. But I guess with Lux coming up the ranks, they didn't feel like it was necessary. Spend their money elsewhere. All right, there's Gene Segura to 2020. That goes to the Fightin' Phils. That'll be for Phillip and the Phillies. And Nico Hearn. I think this could be another big rookie to look out for. Remember his first couple days, first couple weeks? Um, in Chicago, I think we're, uh, we're pretty good.
Um, who is on OKC that makes them expensive? Actually, to be honest with you, Gilo, that's actually inexpensive. That price point. Optic as a whole just got really expensive this year. So they're, they're actually one of the cheaper teams. Because those are the teams in that sort of 50 to... Fifty to seventy dollar range. So, relatively speaking, they're one of the more inexpensive teams. There you go, Kyle. Keeping his Kyle guy collection going. He's got the Kings left. He's got the Kings in uh, in optic. Apparently there's two left in contenders now. There's Mookie Betts just unveiled in LA, which was cool. Dodger Stadium. Behind that is Nico Horner. Got the gold border there at 17 out of 50. So I'm going to lock in on my schedule. I'm assuming that that contenders is going to happen, right? Just the Bengals and Buccaneers left. So once we do that contenders half case break, that'll bring us to the last hour of the broadcast. Now we can fit in optic basketball number three in that time slot. And we won't be able to break, uh, we won't be able to break contenders six, but if it sells out, we can still run the break credit promo. There's Ricky Henderson. That goes to the O's A's combo, Jeremy Anderson. So we can accomplish all things. Just a facsimile autograph there. We can accomplish Optic, still sell out the second half of Contenders to unlock the break credit promo. There you go. But we have to sell out that Optic by the end of Contenders. Otherwise, otherwise it's not going to happen. Cody Ballinger to 2020. That goes to the Dodgers, John B. with that. Oh, come on. Celtics should have won this one. We got Willie Mays die cut for the San Francisco baseball giants. Behind Austin Nola is Mike Yastrzemski. And there's Jose Altuve for the Strohs. That'll be for Daniel Wagner. The Yastrzemski, he is, uh, this is out of 300. The advanced stats card out of 300. He had a pretty good season for the Giants last year. That's, uh, that's Carl Yastrzemski's grandson, I believe. Nephew? No, grandson. Yeah, grandson. Let me 
Got decades next, Ramon Laureano. Oh, what a move by Jason Tatum. Blake Parker to 2020 for the Phillies. Phillip with the Phillies. This is a good game. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got an autograph for the Braves. Mike Soroka. Jack B. with the Bravos. Seventy-nine out of one ninety-nine. I think Braves could have a really nice season this year. So I found another Aquino. Let's save that. No, Tatum, Tatum needs to clean up that beard, says Mark. And it's a little, it's a little wild. Maybe he's going for that wild sort of look. Maybe he's going to get like a James Harden kind of beard going. And Brooks Robinson, nice. Goes to the O's A's combo. That is for Jeremy Anderson. All right, halfway there, three boxes to go. Let's get a score. Nice. We've got some financial interest in the Celtics. There's a Shohei Otani, Showtime. That goes to the Halos. That'll be for Aaron Pettit. All right, halfway there, boys and girls. Another half an hour to go in this break. That's right, Elliot, he is. He's turning it on. Yeah, just in case people are wondering, why is Joe rooting for the Celtics? Is he a Lakers fan? When you have finan financial interest in a team, you become fans of that team for that night. Celtics minus two and a half. Celtics minus two and a half. Minus one and a half. Oh, okay. Minus one and a half. Oh, I had OKC plus two. And they they beat the Pelicans. So I, I got that one. I just need this one. Yeah, Sean saying Zion at 32 points in 31 minutes. That is wild. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Nick Curry saying, Neil saying Boston gave you the, gave you Mookie bets. You can root for the Celtics for one night. And I think I will. I'm very grateful for that. No gloating there because man, I it just sucks to be in that position. I mean the the Orioles kind of went through it with Machado. You know they kind of gave up Machado for not too much. That's not a foul. It's waved off, yeah. You think Mookie's going to go back, Mark? So why, why, would the, why would the Red Sox not pony up the money this year and then pony up the money next year? How much, how much like financially will that situation change? 
or maybe finance was never the issue and they just want to get a little rebuild going in the farm system. I'm not entirely sure if the Dodgers were going to be able to re-sign him. Oh, so you're saying they just reset the luxury tax. And so then they can go over it again without significant penalties. All right. It's possible. And Bill's saying, <laughs> Tiggs is saying that the, that the Red Sox owners are cheap MFers. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the Dodgers did a couple of year, a year or two ago as well. They were almost at max penalties, and so they had to get under to uh, to reset to reset that. <laughs> Look at George Brett. There's a role as Chapman, Yankees. Wow, Celtics or Clippers tied it. This goes to Scott V. Twelve seconds left. One twenty-seven to one twenty-seven. Jason Tatum with the ball. From three, fires, bounces off, double overtime. Wow. What a game. Um... George Brett for the Royals. That'll go to Tim Langston. It's a different variation. It was after that foil card. Tig stopped being a fan of the Sox when they put Mike Cameron as their starting center fielder. You know, the, there is a bit of... I'm a Liverpool football club supporter, the Liverpool soccer team in the English Premier League, which is also owned by Fenway Sports Group. And I know they're different operations, you know, and they're not really that related to each other business-wise, operating-wise, but... There's some arguments, there's some talk about that amongst Liverpool supporters that that Fenway Sports Group is a little a little tight with their money, with the purse strings. After Domingo Santana is a Mike Trout, 1279 out of 2020. Mark says, I work with FSG a lot. They like to hold the cards. Right. So grumblings about that amongst amongst uh, Liverpool supporters. So a little extra confirmation there from Mark. He's got business dealings with him. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It sort of difficult. I mean, on one hand, you want to be prudent with your money, right? What is this? What is this? Wow. Nice Max Scherzer postseason autograph. There you go. 14 out of 25. Nice one for the Nats. Andy got randomized the Nationals. It's pretty strong. All two eyes. Nice. Next one. Yeah, Liverpool is killing it in the Premier League, Daniel. Very pleased about that. It's been a long title drought for them. Oh, Tiggs, you're, you're you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna jump off the Red Sox this year. Be a free agent. There's Hank Aaron. Yeah, follow the Dodgers this year. It could be it could be a little bit of fun. I think they'll have a good season. But I mean, if FS, FSG, if Fenway Sports Group is gonna spend money, you gotta spend money on the right people, right? 
Mookie Betts is the right people. I mean, why why spend it on Chris Sale? That's Mookie Betts money right there. I guess how how do how do Red Sox fans feel about JD Martinez? I feel like he's all right, but he opted in, which I don't blame him. I, I would too, but but he opted in, and um, and that kind of ate into Mookie money as well. Yeah, the Celtics game is pretty fantastic. Clippers at Celtics, 127 to 127, double overtime. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people did hope that JD Martinez would opt out. That's Mookie money. But Chris Sale got Mookie money too. I don't know if you should have extended Chris Sale a couple of years ago. There's Jake Lamb. Silence of the Lambs going to Richard Miller in the Diamondbacks Pirates combo. Twenty out of twenty. Ooh, Bill, you try to visit the home city every year? LA time? I know I know a place where you can spend an afternoon. Maybe in Hermosa Beach. We are close to the airport. There is Hyunjin Ru, Dodgers edition. Kind of sad that he ended up in uh, ended up in Toronto, but I wish him well. Yeah, the the MLBPA does need Mookie Betts because you can you can argue that uh, you can argue that that Mike Trout actually took. Less money than than they could have, you know. And the players' association definitely wants big contracts to help raise the tide, the sea level for everybody else. Right, next one should be. Next one is out of sixty nine. Nice, twenty eight out of sixty nine. Eric Fed or Fetty? I think it's Fed. That goes to Andy. But Mickery, Neil saying, yeah, JD screwed them. But even with Mookie, they go only, only go far as Chris Sale goes. I mean, at, at, at this point, you may as well... You may as well... Try to move him, too. Uh, did it sell out? Spry? If you look at the website, you can see how many, how many teams are left, if any. If it's at zero... Then it'll be on the schedule. I'll go through orders after after the next two boxes. We're almost done with this one. Tatis Jr. Padres, Tim Langston. My name is Joe Spray. Man, Tatum going nuts in this. Well, Tiggs, what do you what do you what are you saying for the Red Sox then? He's saying forget one or two players. The owners and management have been horrible. Do you just do you just uh, start from scratch? Then why why not just blow it up? That's just, sometimes if you kind of nibble around a rebuild, that doesn't always it gets pretty frustrating. And it's like one step forward, two steps back, two steps forward, one step back, and it takes a while for any any progress to happen.
All right, two of these boxes to go. Now they can't blow up no farm system. Well, I mean, you guys can tank. You can move JD Martinez for picks, move Chris Sale for picks. You know, get rid of those big bloated contracts. Rebuild through the draft, get draft picks back, get prospects back. There's Aaron Judge. I'm not, I don't know why. I wouldn't be surprised if Chris Hale gets moved in the by the trading deadline. Honestly, if the Red Sox want to want to rebuild, the worst thing that could happen is they actually have a good season. You almost want I mean, I know it's hard to say it like this, but you almost want Another postseason card. Piece of John Carlos Stanton's bat. Yankee, Scott V. You almost kind of want the Red Sox to do bad. So they'd have to move more players. Matt Stram to 2020. And there's Tony Gwynn, die cut. At bats per strikeout. It's pretty good. on TV. They forgot to bleep that. Looking at the Red Sox depth chart right now, I mean, that's not... There is some. There could be some ceiling on that team. There's Trevor Bauer and Blake Snell, another manufactured patch. Those are pretty sharp. Tim Langston with that one. Yeah, sorry, family show, Neil, but you caught that on the TNT broadcast through the YouTube chat. We got Trevor Bauer. You know, kind of a blue border around that one for the Reds. Dominic. We got Devers, Michael Chavis, third base. We got Chris Sale at the top of that rotation. Rotation needs a little work. Uh, Mitch Moreland, Chavis at first base. Christian Vasquez. Yeah, okay, I like I kind of like those guys. Jose Peraza, it's not too bad. Oh, Michael Chavis can move around a little bit, right? Ben Intendi in left field, Jackie Bradley Jr. in center. I think Verdugo can 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 hit pretty well. I know the, the plate discipline is there for Alex Verdugo, and power could develop. He's got a little bit of speed, too. Gritty player. Takes a lot of pitchers deep into the count. Xander Bogarts at shortstop isn't too bad. Seth Brown's 2020. 
Bill is saying, so they have bats, but just zero pitching. And they might still move Jackie Bradley Jr. this year, says, says Mark. Is the farm system really that bad? Like, who do you who do you have in the in, waiting in the wings? Brian Brian Mata, Tanner Hawk, Jay Groom. Hasn't Jay Groom been a prospect for like <laughs> like a big name prospect for a long time? We got an autograph. Baseball stars. Jake Fraley. 155 out of 199. Mariners on the board. That'll be Aaron Pettit. Yeah, maybe Dalbeck. None of these names seem to be too too big, moving the needle. All right, so it needs a little bit of work. Big Cubs bounce back this year, says Kyle. Well, Cubbies are taking a... I mean, are they going to move Chris Bryant? Is that going to happen? Whether it's before... I mean, I don't... Maybe it's not going to happen at this point. With spring training starting up, but... Maybe mid-season? Could that be a mid-season move? There's Brandon Crawford, 46 out of 50. Giants. That'll go to Craig. All right, last box coming up. Are there any hard feelings after the whole arbitration, mediation, when am I a free agent sort of deal? We've got... Nice, Jordan Alvarez for the Strohs. Daniel Wagner. All right, final box, and then we'll do these packs at the end. So Chris Bryant says there's no hard feelings. All right. And if I'm the Cubs... I just give him a really nice contract now, extend him before it, he even gets to free agency next year. I think so too, Mark. Looks like they're comfortably ahead. 2 and 0 on the night. Do the owners raise ticket prices this year? They moved David Price and Mookie Betts and they had the had the gall to raise ticket prices. Interesting. Already the highest in that Major League Baseball? Oh, raise them before the trade. I mean, I, maybe that's the cost of a World Series. There we go. Celtics in double overtime win 141 to 133. What a game. Celtics pulled ahead in the, in, in the second overtime, but until then it was pretty... Oh, there, there's, the, there's the Leprechaun guy. Lucky. He was, he was waving the flag. Lucky. I just learned learned that name today. Nico Herner may be a big name for the Cubs this year. Our young guys coming up the ranks. It's $35 for standing room only? Is there, there's no way to expand the Fenway, right? Is it impossible? I feel like they've done what they can to like add seats and whatnot. I, growing up here in Los Angeles where capacity at Dodger Stadium is like 56,000. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like on a random weeknight, you know, you can you can get tickets for Dodgers taking nosebleeds for like maybe like 10, 12 bucks for a couple seats in nosebleeds, but the, the angles are pretty good for at Dodger Stadium, so even in nosebleeds, you can still see a good game. Mark says what? The, uh, who knows? He says, only thing that maybe that they can do is renovate, make the seats smaller, try to squeeze in some more seats. What's, what's cap at Fenway? I don't think I even know. Dodger Stadium's 56. Fenway's like 30-something? I'm looking it up. According to Wikipedia, 37,000... 731. Yeah, Dodgers team is 56,000. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that is, that's a huge difference. With Merrifield to 300, and we got a Glaber Day medallion going to Scott V and the Yankees. Also, did Jason Tam just call a shot in the skills competition? Yeah, Elliot. <laughs> I've done this before, buddy. Elliot, Elliot thinks that I should break contenders number five soon, which is on the schedule that I've been dropping in the chat for the last hour. Uh, but he thinks I should break it soon because then break six will have a better chance of selling. <laughs> Elliot thinks we just started doing this yesterday. Not for the last five years. Yeah, should I just stop doing this break, TJ? Maybe I should just stop doing this break. Skip right ahead to to five. No, I want the promo. I want to give away the money as well. Schedule's in the chat, folks. Contenders 5 is indeed happening after this break. In about the next 15, 20 minutes, once I'm done and I put away this break and everything. And there's Alex Young. Kind of looks like Kershaw's autograph a little bit. Goes to Richard Miller and the Diamondbacks. And the Diamondbacks-Pirates combo. Obsidian sold out too. I can add that to the schedule as well. That'll happen after Contenders. How's that optic going? So maybe we're out of we ran out of time on optic. We got close. Six teams left on that. Maybe we'll knock that out tomorrow because Obsidian is now in the way. Now listen, folks. As TJ is reminding us, and as I will remind you again, Contenders six, Contenders five is full. We're breaking that next. Contender six doesn't. Contenders 6 doesn't have to f uh, break tonight. It just has to fill for the promo. So it's at 12 left. All we got to do is fill it. Even if we can't break it, let's say we just run out of time. It just has to fill by the end of the night. That's all. 
And there'll be one of the first breaks of the day tomorrow, when I'm back tomorrow at 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern. And we can still do the break credit promo randomizer tonight. That'd be nice, right? That's Freddy Peralta, 20 out of 20. There you go. Break over, silver box loader, silver packs. All right, and it's going to be Bryce Harper for the Phillies. Phil with the Phillies. And all of these guys will ship, of course. There could be, we've seen autographs in here too. This should be pretty fun. Is that the new, is that the new nickname? They're gonna call Zion Williamson Baby Barkley? I guess he could be. He, he, hey, he's could be a baby Barkley. All right, there's Mookie Betts, new Dodger. We got that's pretty cool out of one ninety nine. Aristides Aquino for the Red Legs. That's a nice one for the Reds. That'll be for Dominic. Got a blue Aaron Judge to 150. Rookie Jordan Alvarez. Paul Goldschmidt to 199 for the Cardinals. And let's save that Nico Herner as well. This could be a big rookie this year. Let's plan ahead for that. Cubbies will get that one. Thomas. And the Goldschmidt to 199 will go to the Redbirds, Justin Humphrey. All right, and there you have it, boys and girls. That was a jumbo case, Series 1 Baseball by Tops, 2020 edition, random team number 23. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. This is Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.